and wellity, wellity, welcome folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 2 for the final part. Last time we left off, we defeated all of the final robot masters in one big boss rush, we destroyed a really, really annoying room which had a lot of cannons in it, and we defeated Dr. Wily, but he seems to have escaped down here. Also, don't touch these drops, they will hurt you. So avoid those, we don't want to, don't want to die to the drips, do we? Phew, that was close. One, two, three, one, two, three. No idea what is dripping. Is it blood? Is it lava? Is it jelly? I'm gonna guess it's jelly. Oh my god, see how much health those things take off? Good thing we've got tanks. Can we quickly drop? Seriously, what is that? And why it's really weird there's no music here. Okay. Into the final room. We've got one E tank left. And we're going to break out the bubble shot. And... Oh, so Dr. Wily's going to fight him up and fight us ourselves! Go, man, man, and oh my god, he's an alien! Dr. Wily is an alien. I did not see this coming. Now, you've got to really be careful, Dr. Wily, because the only thing that can hurt him is the bubble shot. Any other weapon will bring back his health. Oh, and Aiders, Aiders, but there are no, there's no way to really bring back your ammo, so you've got to make your shots count. Ow. Just beat him in the head, over and over again. Don't over... spam it or anything. Because the shots are quite powerful, so be warned for that. Okay, smack in the head. And... smack in the head, ow. Uh, so who'd have thought? Dr. Wily is in fact an alien, and we've been fighting in space this whole time. Or we were fighting in the area where the boss, um, what do we call it, the robot masters is teleported from. I'm nervous, so I'm going to do a quick e tank. The bubble. Bubble shot in the previous fight. There we got him! This is the previous fight and I had to like right down to the final bubble shot. What on earth is going on here? And what was he doing behind that machine? So this whole room was a simulation. Dr. Wiley wasn't an alien. He's just a really good projectionist. It's powering down by the sounds of it. And bump the floor. Aha, you better work. Better beg for mercy, I'm gonna blow your head off. You've had this car for a long time, Wily. Prepare to die! Or we can just walk away, I guess. Yeah, we can just walk away, we just left him there. We just slapped him on the wrist and said, No! So, Doc, this is the point at which Mega Man realized that he came all this way and he didn't bring a car. And he doesn't have Rush with him yet, so he can't exactly just fly out of there, so he's got to walk home through the snow, and apparently the snow is changing all of his colours and everything. So we've got some very nice ending music here, very sombre, I guess you could say. Yeah, apparently it's taken him months and months and months to walk all his way to wherever his house is, because he's going with the seasons here, and now it's raining, he's... there's no rain to turn a, turn a field grey. That, we don't get that kind of rain in England, I guess. Oh, and now he's jerking his head off. Well, he, what do you see, Mega Man? Do you see the painting next to you that you've just been stepping in place with? Nope. And we just turned to a helmet. Okay. So does that mean that Mega Man has given up Mega Manning? Who knows? Could mean anything. So that was Mega Man 2. Sonori Satau, Satu, Satu, I don't know. And that guy to help Yuji Kanazawa, who also helped with Air Man apparently. Bubble Man, also known as Takashi Tanaka. Didn't know these guys, didn't know these robot bosses had names. So Quick Man was Hirofumi Mizubushi. Mizubushi, I don't know. Crash Man was played by Akira Yoshida. And Flash Man was played by Tomu Yamaguchi. Also, those dots in the background? I mean, those are the same as Mega Man's bullets. Heat Man was played by Toshiyuki Kataua, a master at playing robots, I hear. 
Woodman was played by Masakao Ichikawa. I suck with Japanese names. And now we're getting into the character design. So we got all these guys. We got 2MO3C and man. Okay, so just 2 meters, 3 centimeter man. So that means he's quite really tall or something. But Yuki Chan's papa apparently helped with the music. And this thing was programmed by HMD, so um, his royal. his majestic diaphragm? I don't know. But that was Mega Man 2! Very, very good game. Difficult at points. The soft, the hardware limitations does kind of come up every now and again with the whole sprite flickering thing and the slowdown. A couple backgrounds are a bit messy to look at, and you know, you don't get much for your plot, you get like two sentences, but overall, it was a very big improvement over the original Mega Man. It sold quite a lot, and it was made by a fish man apparently. Thank you for playing. Oh, thank you, Capcom. This is before you sucked. Capcom USA. Yatta. Anything else gonna happen post credits? Anything at all? Or do I have to press a button? I think I press a button. Oh, it just brings you back to the title screen. Okay then, well, I have been Grandmaster Scott A. This has been Mega Man 2 for the NES. And I thank you so very, very much for watching. Adios. Sayonara. And good night.